1 prove each of the following trigonometric identities so a sin x minus y minus sin x plus y is equal to this one so it's a so sin x minus y minus sin x plus y is equal to negative 2 cos x sin y so here if we see here x minus y in the bracket is not equal to this but then we can expand using formula so where am i supposed to okay so we know that sine so sine a plus b so you see here if you have sine a plus sine b is equal to sine a cos b plus sine a cos b plus sine b cos a so if you have sine a minus b you see here you have minus is equal to sine a cos b minus you see sin b cos a so this is a formula so you can see from the formula so we see here we have to expand this one using formula first so i'm starting from left hand side which is equal to so sin x minus y is equal to sin x cos y you see here using formula so this one first cos y and this one is minus minus sin y cos x you see how i substitute this one is a this one is b so this one first sin x cos y minus sin y cos x okay and then minus so this one you see here this one is plus so plus sin x cos y see here sin a cos b this one is plus so plus is sin y cos x okay which is equal to so here we can expand so sin x cos y cos y minus sin y cos x so this one is minus sin x cos y so pos negative and positive is negative sin y cos x so you see here so this one is positive right so all everything else is negative so sin x cos y is this one sorry this one and this one can be cancelled out so we only left with this one so this one is negative is actually negative one you know negative one negative one so we, we ended up with negative two sine y cos x so we can see that negative two cos x sine y this one is actually equal because this one is multiply right so we can just change place which is negative two cos x sine y so we can say it is equal to the right hand side so it is proven so this one is proven b tangent a plus pi over 4 is equal to 1 plus tangent a divided by 1 minus tangent a So I'm going to start from left hand side. So we have formula, right? So tangent A plus B is equal to tangent A plus tangent B divided by that. This one is plus. So below is 1 minus tangent A tangent B. So this one you can just see from formula. So here tangent A plus pi over 4. So we just substitute. So we know this one is A and this one is B. So we see here tangent A is tangent A plus tangent b is tangent pi over 4 divided by 1 minus tangent a and then here tangent pi over 4 so you see here this one you can actually use calculator but then you have to be very careful this one is pi over 4 that means it is in radian mode so if you use radian mode you can directly uh, put pi over 4 but then if you are using the normal mode just we know that pi is equal to 180 right so if you just not normal mode you just put 180 divided by 4 which you will get 45 so tangent pi over 4 using radian mode or tangent pi over 4 or, tan or tangent 180 divided by 4 using normal mode so you are going to get 1 so this one you are going to get 1 so we get tangent a plus this one is 1 divided by 1 minus tangent 
A because tangent A times 1 is tangent A. So this one is 1 plus tangent A, right? So you can just rearrange 1 plus tangent A divided by 1 minus tangent A. So we can say that it is equal to the right hand side. So it is basically proven. See, so cos x minus y minus cos x plus y divided by this one is equal to tangent y. So here we have cos and sine. So like usual, just use formula. So we have formula for cos. So cos, just write it. So cos a, so cos a minus b is equal to cos a cos b. So this one is minus, right? So it is opposite, which is equal to sine a sine b so here we have so cos a plus b is equal to cos a cos b this one is plus this one become sine a sine b so this one here when you want to expand cos x minus y so here cos x cos y Right, cos x cos y. If so x minus, so this one opposite. Sin x, sin y minus. So this one cos x plus y. So we have cos x, cos y. You just substitute a and b here, right? Using the formula. It's cos x, cos y. So this one is plus. It becomes negative. Sin x, sin y. Okay. So now sine, this one also using formula of sine. So we know that this one is sine. For sine, it will be, it will be sine and cos. So plus mean sine x cos y. You see sine x cos y, this one is plus. This one will be sine y cos x. So it was it. So this one sine x cos y plus sine y cos x. So this one is done plus so sine x minus y so here we have sine x cos y minus so because we have minus sine y cos x so this one this is the left hand side right so i start with the left hand side so here so here cos x cos y plus sine x sin y so they have we have negative negative cos x cos y minus sin x sin y okay divide so this one we have sin x cos y plus this one is sin y cos x right sin y cos x so we have plus sin x cos y this one is minus sin y cos x Which is equal to so cos x cos y cos x cos y negative it will cancel out so sin x sin y sin x sin y we have two right so two sin x sin y okay and then you see here below here sin x cos y so we have another sin y cos x so sin y cos x can be cancelled out so here sin x cos y plus sin x cos y we have two sin x cos y. So you see here, sin x and sin x can be cancelled out. 2 can also, 2, two by 2 is cancelled out. So sin divided by, sin y divided by cos y. So same y, so we get tangent y. So we can, so this one is equal to the right hand side. So we can say that it is proven. So here I'm going to step from right hand side. So there's no formula for cotangent. There's only tangent, sine and cos, right? So never mind. I'm going to start from this one. So here cotangent is equal to. So we know that cotangent is equal to one over tangent, which is equal to cos over sine. So if this one theta, so theta, theta, theta. This one is a, right? So from the right hand side, cotangent is equal to cos a divided by sine a. This one is cos b divided by sine b. 
So this one is cotangent A, cotangent B plus 1. So cotangent B is equal to cos B over sin B minus cotangent A. Cotangent is cos A minus sin A. So here, so this one, if we want to combine, we need to make the denominator equal. So we see here, this one is sin A, sin B, right? When we multiply, the denominator is sin A, sin B. So to combine this one, you have to also multiply with sin A, sin B, sin A, sin B. So this one, this one is sin B, right? So to combine, this one is sin A. So to combine, uh, we must make the denominator equal. So this one, we multiply with sin A divided by sin A. So this one we have to multiply with sin B over sin B. Because why? Because sin B and sin A, when we multiply to make denominator, so both need to be sin A, sin B. So this one, so this one cos A times cos B, we get cos A cos B divided by sin A sin B. So since the denominator is equal, now we can combine because this one we already multiply. Plus 1 times sin A sin B, we get plus sin A sin B. Right? So we have divide. So this one sin A cos B, we get sin A cos B divided by. So now we make the denominator equal. So we have sin A sin B. So this sign is minus minus cos A sin B. So we see here this one and this one is similar so we can cut it off. Okay. So divide by so here is cos A cos B plus sin A sin B divided by this one is sin A cos B minus cos A sin B. Which is equal. So we can see that this one cos cos sin sin. So this is a formula of cos. So you see here, cos if minus this one become plus. This one is cos cos sin sin. So this one is basically cos a. This one is a large a cos a a and b right. So cos a minus b. You see here cos a b sin a b, which mean front minus back. Just look at the formula for the cos is opposite. Okay, divided by so sine a cos b. Okay, cos a sine b. So we know when it is sine cos sine cos, it is formula of sine. So we know that this one is minus. So which mean sine a minus is sine a minus b. So we know that cos over sine is equal to cotangent cotangent a minus b so we can say that it is equal to the left hand side so we can say that it is 